Hey guys, welcome. Alex Terrell with Cradle Point Solutions Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a secure pop-up network real quick. So let's get started. We're going to unbox our Air 2200 branch router. Get the packaging. Got the router. We've got our SIM card in here. Uh, we'll be happy to put a SIM card in the box and drop ship these anywhere you want. Makes it real easy for zero touch deployment. Uh, we preload these in the NetPod Manager. So here's uh, this guy. His MAC address has been preloaded in there. So IT staff can pre-configure these while they're still in the box before they even get out on site. Um, set them up with all the security profile that you need to conform to your HIPAA high trust requirements. Get all these antennas unboxed here. These are our 4G LTE antennas here. For these guys, get them where you see them. Four LTE antennas. Got our four Wi-Fi antennas. These guys. Got our SIM card, Ethernet cable, power supply. Alright, let's set this over here for now. I'll wear your Ethernet cable. We're going all LTE today. So this is our Cradle Point Air 2200. Uh, it's got an embedded 1200 MB modem, that's a 1.2 gigabit modem, so screaming fast for LTE. We're going to go ahead and connect our antennas. Now there's four of these um, on the 1200 MB, and we want to connect all four antennas to the main and aux ports. So there's a main and zero. You want to just put these on, starting at the base, just kind of finger tighten them. And then they've got a little uh, articulating knuckle, you can kind of spin them around, get them where you want to be, like that. Um, aux, next aux port. I'm going to show you how to orient these antennas too so you can get the best signal and quality to optimize your throughput. Okay, now there's a GPS connector for a GPS antenna in the middle. We're going to skip that one. We're not doing GPS, just LTE. All right, there's three of them. Work one or aux. So we're going to get these guys just again finger tight on there. Now, if you'll notice the configuration of the antennas, every other one is up straight or out. Um, that gives separation between the antennas so that the RF can kind of get received and transmitted uh, uh, most efficient. So those are our cellular antennas. Um, on the back, we're going to put our Wi-Fi antennas. Just forward these guys. Go ahead and get them on there real quick. Same kind of concept. These do have uh, different connectors on them, so you're not able to screw the Wi-Fi antennas onto the connectors for the LTE antennas. So uh, you're, you're protected from doing that, or the end user that's out on site putting these on won't be able to put them on the wrong spot. So, so there we go. We've got our uh, LTE antennas on the front, our Wi Fi antennas on the back. I'm going to go ahead and pop off this door here. There's some SIM slots behind it. We're going to insert our SIM card. Okay. Shows a little diagram in here of which way to orient the SIM card. So the gold side goes up, the little notch is in the top right. Let's put it right here in the SIM slot. Clicks in, close the door. There's an optional screw in the box that you can secure this door uh, for additional physical security. Uh, we've also got a Kensington lock slot here if you want to use that. Um, okay, now we're going to power up the router. We'll plug in the power supply. Light switch. See the light come on? All right, well, while that boots up, um, talk a little bit more about the features of the router. Um, again, we're going to prevent unauthorized devices with MAC address filtering or 802.1 authentication. Um, we're going to segment all of our LAN clients on both Ethernet and Wi-Fi using VLANs. Um, we're going to isolate them by not allowing them to talk to each other using Wi-Fi isolation. Um, we're also going to prevent unauthorized access into the router uh, by restricting admin access on the LAN. So we're not going to allow anybody on the LAN to log into this router. We're going to control everything through NetCloud Manager so nobody local can get in and mess with the configuration. Um, we're also going to block any IP addresses that try to log into the router and fail their login six times or more. It's going to block them up for 30 minutes. So six logins failed, they get blocked for 30 minutes. Um, we're also going to enforce PCI compliant passwords on here. So you have to use a complex password um, that meets PCI compliant requirements. Um, we're going to block any untrusted traffic and applications with our AppAware Zone firewall. So the firewall can block applications itself, so we'll have that enabled as well. We can allow our corporate apps to go through, but we're going to block everything else. Uh, we can prioritize 
critical services and apps with our AppAware quality of service, QoS, on the router as well. So our high priority application will always go through before uh, best effort traffic. Uh, we're going to uh, protect our clients from malicious web content with CP secure web filtering. So whenever our users go on the web or online, it's going to protect them using a, a cloud-based DNS cloud uh, content filtering service. Um, we're also going to protect all of our applications and devices on the LAN from internal and external attacks using CP secure threat management. So that's an app aware, it recognizes applications based on their signatures and different threats and attacks that can come to the network based on their behaviors, and it's going to block those, and it's going to send us alerts on those as well. Um, speaking of logging and alerts, we're going to send real-time logs to a syslog server for monitoring, review, and response. Um, we're also going to get instant alerts from NetCloud Manager regarding any device or network conditions that we want to be made aware of. Uh, plus, NetCloud Manager has a robust security features in there like multi-factor authentication and federated ID support. Alright, so our router is booted up. Looks like our modem is getting connected now. So we'll just watch here. Let's see what these little lights do. Looks like we've got some good signal. All four bars are lit up. That means we've got 100% signal. That's good. Should be connecting now. Um, these devices are very persistent to get connected. Uh, when connecting to cellular networks, they'll detect a carrier on the SIM and go through a list of known APNs or access point names uh, to get connected to those networks. So if you have static IPs or other things that have uh, certain APNs associated with them, this device knows the majority of those and it's going to try them all to get connected and get online. So it looks like we have gotten connected now. So it should be online and that's going to check into NetCloud Manager and get its firmware or NetCloud operating system, NCOS. Um, it's going to pull that down and then apply its configuration that's been pre-built in the cloud by my IT staff that's set this up ahead of time. So I don't have to configure it out in the field. Let's just uh, let's refresh this here. See if this guy's checked in. <clears throat> yes. All right. So now we've got online. It just checked in for the first time. We've got another icon here. NetCloud OS upgrade in progress, so it's downloading that NetCloud OS. It's going to pull down that, and it's firmware. It's going to pull down its firmware and its configuration, and then reboot, and it's going to, we're going to be up and running. Be right back. All right, welcome back. All right, the router has downloaded its NCOS and its configuration from NetCloud Manager. It's online. We're secure. We're locked down. The VPN light is on, so I've got secure connectivity to HQ. Um, I tested real quick with the ping, and I'm able to reach headquarters. So everything looks good. We're securely connected. We're up and running. Thanks for listening.